and then the importance that Prophet gave us of wudu. That the water and the power of wudu burns away the fires of shayateen. So as soon as you go to make your wudu, you wash and don't speak to anyone, come out and pray two rakahs. That two rakah it becomes the seal of the wudu and the seal and the armour for the believer. Means as soon as they're washing, they're not speaking, they're entering into a purified state. As soon as they pray two rakahs, Prophet told that pray Salatul Wudu, your wudu become like an armour, that it seals your body from satanic and shaitanic and evilness attacks. So the importance of wudu, it's not something, oh yeah well they used to do that back home, we don't have to do that now, I took a shower in the morning. But if you relieved yourself and lost your state of wudu, you are now best under the attack of shaitan because the satanic attack is looking for a deficiency in your energy field. So when you watch like these sci-fi movies, they, they, they see the shield around and their ifrit and the shayateen are everywhere. They're waiting for an energy field to be void upon the believer and immediately enter into the attack. So what Prophet brought in the wudu is that the two dirtiest parts of your body and the way that you relieve yourself from the front and from the back are the big entry points for shayateen. All the negative charge immediately runs from below the earth and shoots up to the believer and enters into the body. And again becomes all the lower intestinal problems. So many people have a lot of difficulties in the lower body and everything that Prophet brought was for perfection. It wasn't just something you did back home, you know like old times, they're no. These water and the use of water when you relieve yourself from front or from back was a way to sanctify and safeguard your body entrance points so that shayateen won't enter from those points. And then the reality of wudu, sealing the body with salat al wudu and then all of the sunnah that was given to us as a safeguard and a protection. Subhana rabbika rabbi izzat amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen wa alhamdulillah ya rabbil alameen al fatiha. Shahe Madinah